Hey guys, Enog Place here, bringing you guys another video. Today is going to be Tap Titans 2 Part 204. I hope everyone is having just an absolutely amazing day. Today is going to be the end tournament update. A little bit of sad news, but again, you know, the event just started, so it would have been nice. Well, I'll show you guys what we got here in just a second, but let's go ahead and do a prestige here right away. So we're currently at stage 72,226. We did push quite a bit, as you guys can see. I'm um, not as high as I probably would have liked, but you know, still 72,200 is still pretty good. Um, before we go ahead and do a prestige here, I want to show you guys the Book of Shadows. Our current is 29%. Let's do an upgrade. They're 49% now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do a prestige and then try to max out Book of Shadows again because the tournament does start in less than 24 hours. So we actually don't have a ton of preparation time here. Um, today, uh, the day, so yesterday when you guys were watching this, I basically spent the entire day, did like a seven hour stream of Call of Duty Cold War down on my Twitch. If, if you guys want to tune in, I am streaming when you guys are watching this down below in the comments or in the description down below. I have my link to my Twitch channel and I've just been absolutely playing the crap out of that lately. It's been so much fun and I haven't really been focusing on this game as much as I definitely should be um, considering that, you know, there is a vet currently going on and, you know, trying to get as far as we can in this event would be really, really awesome. Uh, but at the moment, we're just, you know, struggling a little bit, not struggling, but I'm just playing other games at the same time. So not getting as much time to play just Tap Titans 2, which I think is a good thing. You know, you don't want to play one game 24-7 and get bored of it, right? So uh, if we take a look here, we're currently at 310 uh, vials. We will get more, obviously, for our tournament rewards. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. Uh, so we got second place. You know, I'm not super happy with it, but I'm not disappointed. And actually, he did end up pushing another like 300 stages from what I last logged in and saw Matt. He was at uh 79 or 72,999 so he logged on and did almost he did like another 200 and almost 300 stages there which is just insane so really glad that i didn't keep pushing and i kind of you know held back because this is really all i could do you know if i was going any further it was spending uh, you know the last probably three hours and i wouldn't have i wouldn't have been able to beat him and i knew he was playing the whole time i knew he was consistently doing runs and things like that so we're just gonna go ahead and collect our 550 diamonds 150 tournament points 105 crafting shards still getting a decent amount we did lose out on 55 crafting shards which is a little unfortunate but uh 10 eggs and 225 crimson vials so we should be able to do or we will be able to do a um ruthless necromancer piece getting our four out of fifth piece um in tomorrow's uh tomorrow's video actually because tomorrow will be the event so really really looking forward to that that's going to be awesome or actually no, sorry, my bad. The tournament does not start tomorrow. Never mind. Uh, the tournament starts two days from now. Uh, when you guys are watching this, the, the tournament starts tomorrow, but for me, it doesn't. So we're going to go ahead and claim our... So we do have quite a bit more preparation time than I did think. So tonight, I'll do a couple runs and things like that. I've played, you know, like I said, almost seven hours of Call of Duty today. So I'm going to go ahead and relax from that and, uh, you know, just casually play some Tap Titans do do some prestiges, play some Masketeers and things like that. Let's go ahead and do a Book of Shadows upgrade here from 40%. Up to 59%. So definitely want to get that up before we go and join the tournament here um, in two days. So trying to do a little bit of preparation here as much as we can would be really awesome. Uh, we got three. We got a... Oh, goodness. That's a Noble Fencer piece. We did get the hat from Noble Fencer. So unfortunately, we won't be able to finish off a Legendary Set or anything. But that's a Sword Attack Damage one that is awesome. So it's actually not even that much better uh, than the Vent one we have, which is weird. But we're doing uh, Boss Damage and Flying Hero Damage, where this was just Boss Damage. So... I mean, that's going to be helpful, but I really thought it was it would have been a bigger multiplier than that, but I guess not. Uh, pet damage. We don't really care about pet damage. It's actually a mm, little bit less than a legendary, so we're going to go and sell it. And shadow clone damage. This one is quite a... Oh, wow. This one's actually quite a bit more. 28. Oh, but it's, so it's smaller than that one. Okay, so we're going to go and sell that because we have... Uh, this shadow clone damage one is for pushing. This one is for farming or, you know, trying to get to our max stage as quick as we can. So we got a bit of a system going on there. We've got two pets here. We can go and collect Nemesis and Hammy. Absolutely awesome there. Take a look at our daily reward. I did unfortunately miss the daily reward. It reset like an hour and a half ago. And I was thinking I was going to make the video before, but then I totally forgot and got caught up with the live stream. So unfortunately, we're restarting again. We just restarted not too long ago. So we are really missing out on these crafting shards. So I'm really making some mistakes here. Loop missing out on some vials, the free 25 vials. I feel like right off the bat you know this event hasn't had the best start we didn't win the tournament um i totally forgot to do our daily rewards daily achievements all of that stuff um so that's just a complete mess to be honest with you we missed out on quite a bit of uh crimson vials there and like i said 
um you know not doing as many prestiges a day as i normally would i think this next tournament is gonna have to be a big one um and it's gonna have to be a winner it's gonna have to be a lot of prestiges i'm really really hoping on this one um during the next tournament the call of duty beta will still be live thing is this beta is only six days long it's six days long where i'm not going to be playing this game as much still participating in tournaments still playing every or you know, trying to play every day uh to claim all of our rewards and things like that but it's it's six days come on i i could take a little bit of a break here it's just it's unfortunate timing that it's not when we're um not in a tournament or an event that would have been absolutely perfect but uh you know whatever happens happens i guess so we're currently at 575 vials now so i know a lot of people are probably above 3,000 already which is crazy but uh we're not quite there yet so we got one skill point here we got 50 diamonds there, putting us at 1,017. We got one hero weapon there. We got one more skill point, 250 more dust, three more eggs. Absolutely awesome. We got one more skill point and five equipment pieces, two event pieces. Awesome. So that should uh, should help a little bit as well. We'll keep buying those. So we're keep pushing here. Uh, melee hero damage is 165 there. So not better. We're going to go and sell that one. Um, all gold bingo sell. 172 all gold. It's about the same there. So... Uh, this is actually a little bit worse um and helmet prime proofs we can sell and all damage is actually the sword that we're using at the moment and it, this is a better one but again we're losing out on shadow clone damage 67 times shadow clone damage and as you guys know shadow clone damage is how we push so i don't want to go and sacrifice that um just for a little bit more all damage there we're also losing out on war cry damage heavenly strike damage doesn't matter but we're gonna go and keep the one we currently have i think that's gonna be the better option uh but if we take a look here as you guys can see we do have enough to craft another ruthless necromancer piece so we have 237 um and we only need we only need 160 to go ahead and craft this next piece so we do have a decent amount but uh hopefully soon we will have enough to go ahead and craft yet another piece the last and final piece probably in the next week and a half probably the next crafting chart tournament we will be able to finish ruthless necromancer and i'm so so looking forward to that i cannot wait uh, but let's go ahead and upgrade all of this stuff here uh, i find so i did want to talk a little bit about the fact that i switched builds so we are now a uh fairy hybrid um what a fairy hybrid uh shadow clone sorry i completely linked up there shadow clone hybrid fairy build and i'm i'm liking it but it's not amazing i find that the gold sources is, is a little bit better i think uh to be honest with you so that's good but i find that our pushing potential isn't as much as it was with the push one maybe we're just slowing down and i think that's the big thing is a lot of people said in between you know 70 70 and eighty thousand is when you really really notice you start to slow down and i think that's it i just think that's it you know we're at seventy two thousand already and i find that my pushing potential is definitely going a long way or you know doing a lot worse um i found that our um the book of shadows is taking a lot longer to get up and i mean that's going to be basically solved once we go and craft that mythic piece but uh or you know the mythic set but just a couple of things here and there, but I think it's just because we're getting further and further into the game. But here we got 60. Wow, guys, I'm just thinking about it. We missed out on 85 vials uh, before doing any prestiges or anything yesterday because we would have got uh, 60 from this, from the daily achievements, and we would have got 25 from the daily rewards. So unfortunate, but we're getting six here, 30 diamonds and six raid tickets. Absolutely awesome there. Perfect. And if we go ahead and take a look now, we got even more rewards here. We got three more perks. A mana potion, adrenaline rush, and power swiping. Not bad. Nice ver ver uh, variety there. We got a hero weapon there as well. Awesome. Let's take a look at the shop here because we do have over a thousand diamonds to spend. We also got the video chest that so we're going to go ahead and open up and take a look at what we can get. Five more diamonds. Not too shabby there, but let's go and take a look. So we got Harker. Uh, we have range share damage, Mousy. We got helmet primary boost, Elfie. Uh, spell hero damage, zero. And armor primary boost. So this one is below level 100. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. I think that's going to be the only one we're doing today. I do want to start saving up for, you know, around 1600 diamonds or so. Um, you know, if we would have won that tournament, we would have been, you know, roughly there, but uh, we didn't, unfortunately. So that's okay. But uh, yeah, I do want to start saving up a little bit of diamonds there again, just in case we do, like last time, we got a legendary drop. We can actually go ahead and afford to finish the set, which is awesome, which is obviously what I really, really want to do. Let's go ahead and do some attacks. We're getting as many uh, vials here as we possibly can, because as you guys know, we definitely definitely need it but let's go ahead and attack the head here try to get us another we'll get another 20 or so uh vials so not too bad trying to catch up a little bit i would like to try to get to i think we're probably could we could probably get to 700 to 750 tonight try to do as many procedures as i can but i'm trying to balance Call of duty cold war and live streaming with making tap titans 2 videos and masketeer videos and trying to play as much as i can off camera 
uh with the events and things like that and obviously uh spending time with family and things like that but uh we're, we're trying to balance everything but like i said you know if, if the event takes a little bit of a rough start you know we always have another 21 days to catch up like i said the cold war beta is only for six days so i'd like to play it as much as i can uh for the six days obviously but uh for right now uh, i think we're just gonna have to go ahead and um you know kind of trying to kind of take the hit and try to recoup i guess like i said as much as we can still trying to you know i mean missing my daily rewards is kind of not acceptable um i really want to go ahead and make sure i'm trying to do all my daily rewards as best as i possibly can um, you know participating in the tournaments and things like that is something that i'm obviously going to continue to do but like i said if i miss you know if i miss you know if i don't win a tournament or something like that i guess it's not the end of the world but like i said i'm gonna try to do my absolute best here and try to keep up uh with everything i i did live stream a little bit longer than i think i was gonna i did you know almost seven hours of cold war beta which was just a lot of fun and i've been really enjoying it so far but uh yeah definitely gonna have to try to cut that down as much as we get a little bit more and so we can focus a little bit more on tap titans to masketeers and stuff like that because those are obviously what we're making videos on here but let me know what you guys are thinking if you guys are playing the call of duty cold war beta uh what are you guys thinking of it i, I think it's okay so far but i don't definitely think it's going to get repetitive uh when the full game comes out we'll have to see how everything plays out but for with that being said guys i'm gonna have to go ahead and end today's video here if you guys have enjoyed another daily tap titans 2 video be sure to go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe so you guys don't miss any more daily content and i will catch you guys in tomorrow's video peace out